Okay, so I know I look like a teenager and I'm freaking out right now, but <laughs> I told myself that my goal was to hit five parks. The first one I went to was just, um, it was just grass, so I was like, I'm not doing that. So now I'm at another park and I just got a 13, so I'm gonna see what it is. Should be a riot around here. <laughs> Ooh, it is a nickel. Yes. Shiny. Shiny cupcake money. Okay. Woohoo! Right and early in the morning. I had to get an early start to stay ahead of Christine. Don't want her beat me again. Got my uh, first quarter here. It's actually a uh, surface find. Very cool. All right. I was digging and. Oh! It's a dime. Nice, more cupcake money, just what I need, guys. Woohoo! All right, I've been out for about an hour this morning. Slim pickings, but uh, I got 30 right here along the basketball court. Should be a quarter. So I do is I'll turn up the grass too much. It's really nice grass. See if I can just uh, get this edge up. There it is. Very cool. You see this massive hole I dug? Look at how deep that is. Look at that clumper. Okay. All for a rusty nail. Are you serious right now? My hands are shaking. Yeah. Super lame. It's not all diamonds and earrings and rings. Well, I was getting a uh, mixed signal here. Um, about... Uh, six seven feet down the way i just found about seven coins um one of them being a, i think a 56 weedy so that was kind of cool it's hard to really see it kind of worn out all right got a dime doing pretty good along this uh, basketball court a little hard to work because there, there is rebar in the concrete, so it makes it difficult. Another signal down here. Probably was getting a mixed uh, tone. Ah, foil. Okay, I found a BB, which I didn't show, but I just found this. It's kind of interesting. Probably nothing, but it's kind of cool. It's a corner to something. Maybe like a purse or a bag or... I don't know. Alright, I'm getting another uh, 30 right here. 29 to 31. There we go. Looks like a uh, state's quarter. All right, so I found, it should be on top. I didn't find anything there, but it's probably junk. Came up as a 14, 15. What are we here? The rock. <laughs> it's a bolt. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. It's a bolt. Uh, bummer. <laughs> No, I'm getting a 20 right here. Ground's a little harder here. But it sounded... It should be just a penny. We'll see. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll tore up. Okay, so I'm looking for it. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh, what the? Oh, wow. It's a chain. Dang. Okay. I don't know what it goes to. Obviously a necklace or a bracelet. Cool. I wonder if we can find the rest of it. All right, this one's a 23, so it's probably still just a penny is my guess. Oh, I got two maybe. Yeah, there's one of them. Oh, yes. Heinz ketchup. Joy. So here I thought this thing was going to be the bottom of like a beer can. I found it like this. I flipped it over. It's a bowl. <laughs> I found a tiny little bowl. I wonder if there's a tiny little spoon somewhere. All right, bottom of the slide. Getting a uh, 2728, which is a little bit low for the quarter. Aha. Uh -huh. Look what we have here. I got a car. Pretty worn out car. But a car nevertheless. Whatever this is, it should be a coin. This is 2526. Here it is. It's a penny. 1980. Cool. So I'm still working the uh, bottom here and I had a penny over here, another penny, and I just had a uh, 11 right here. Oh goodness. I've got an audience right now, so let me turn around here. This thing's all stuffed full of Sorry about that. Oh wow, that's tiny. That's cute. Little ring. Wow. The flowers on that end. It's kind of weird. It's almost like it's man-made, maybe out of a spoon or that could be another one of those uh rings from a spoon or a fork or something like that it looks like it's been the design here could be uh part of the stem and then trimmed off and smoothed out that's kind of cool all right this should be a coin Oops. What it do? All right, sorry about the noise. The gardener's coming by, but I got a uh, another thirteen right here. Thirteens are oftentimes nickels. Oh, it's jewelry. Oh wow! I think I found something like that before. 
but last time it was, I think it was just the uh, rainbow and clouds, not the piece here full of wood chip. Very cool. All right, about two feet away from that uh, rainbow, I got another target, 1112. Ah. Yeah, sorry for the noise. Oh wow, so that's the same top and wings this time. Probably related to the other one, but that's really cool. Nice. All right, so I'm working at a park right here, which is literally right next to a school. And uh, kids are out running, so I gotta film down. But bottom of that slide, I found four quarters, a dime, and a couple pennies, I believe. And I've been working my way around. I'm getting another uh, signal here. 21.22. Finally found a park that hasn't been hit recently. Oh, okay. Small key. Okay, I'm getting a jumpy 20s. Might be two targets out here, I'm not sure. Alright, 21, 22. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I got a ring. And it's... Yeah, cool. I thought it was hearts at first. Wow. Got another ring. But it looks like bling. All right, I thought I was digging a uh, penny. It was a 19. And I flicked up the dirt. And I see chain. And I see a key, it looks like. And it's stuck in there. So let's see if I can get all of it out. Hold on. Ah. Oh. Okay, the key's off. The chain, which is wound up in the grass, so it's a very uh, thin chain. So I will work on this and uh, show it to you on the wrap up if I can salvage it. All right, I'm working underneath this toy here, and I had a signal with the uh, Equinox 800, and then I used a pinpointer to uncover my second. Clouded rainbow of the day. That's two of these today. So I dug this big old hole. And I shouldn't be mad, but I am. Found a nail. I'm glad I got rid of it, you know, pulling it out of the park, but can't I find something good? Jeez. I may have something else here. Uh Get that wood chip out of it. So the downside to one-handed um, work here. I've got a... There you go. A clip. So I'm digging and digging and digging. Digging. And digging. It's right there. Penny. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna go to a different park, but I got spooked by a homeless person. <laughs> So I bounced out of there, I'm at a different park, so we'll see if we find anything good. Okay, I was told that I need to be better about filming what I find. I'm getting a 23, 24, 25, 26. So I'm gonna hit it and show it to you and see what I got. that it wasn't gonna be very deep, so we'll see. Piece of junk. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Reese. Looks like part of a tool or something. Okay, getting a uh, 22-24 here. All right, what do we got here?
Looks like a token. Huh. Let me take a quick look at it and see what it says. All right, so it is a 2014 Chuck E. Cheese. It's a different design that I'm used to seeing. Uh, it's got a guitar on the back and uh, Chuck's Chucky rules on the front. All right, it's coming up as a 20, which means possible penny. Oh, oh my gosh, dude, this thing is tore up. All right, okay, we got money. All right. I hit a little tin right here and just uh, scraped up a little piece of metal. Oh, it's actually um, a piece of jewelry. Like I said, it came in as a tin. Real tiny. Little pendant. Wow. Actually, I think there might be some markings on this. Hold on a sec, let me check. All right, after checking it out, the um, that's actually, it looks like a earring, uh, the part that hooks through the uh, shaft of the earring on the top. So that is an earring. And even though it looked like it was gold, it's actually stamped 925. So I got me some silver. Okay, jumpy signal. needs a cupcake. Oh, wow, another chewed up penny. Not exciting, but oh well, that's cupcake money. I right, just had a jumpy number to 18 and 20. I just found a lock. It's in pretty bad shape. I was just bopping around in this area and actually was pretty surprised this is a backing to a pin it'll focus properly hold on okay interesting you never find this part of it you always find the front oh well there it is all right i had a 22 out in this field and i just pulled up part of a key i'm sure the rest of it's probably there We'll check real quick. Yeah, it's in the middle of this. So the other part was in there. It's bent, as you can see. It's in pretty bad shape. Okay, so this one's supposed to be 25, 26. Let's see if we can find it. Oh. There it is. It's a dime. All right, I just had a 16, pulled out the plug, and then I uh, spotted this. Got excited for a minute, but after looking at it, I can already tell it's gonna be just uh, one of those cheap rings. All full of mud, easy to bend. Yeah, I get a lot of these, that's for sure. Boy, it tricked me. Saw that thing coming up and going, yes. Yep. I had him take a guess. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's. I can't think of his name. <laughs> I'm so mad. I can't think of his name. But I found him. Lightning McQueen. Ooh. Bill's gonna be super jealous. Look at how sick this guy looks. Heck yeah. That's a win. Well, I thought I was pulling a quarter out, and I can see black here. It's definitely not a quarter. I just got a uh, flashlight. Wow. Clicks, but doesn't work. All right, so I've got two hits. There's one about right here, and there's one about right over there. I 
this it? No, oh, it's a stick. It's a spring. Dude, <laughs> how weird. Why is there a spring here? <laughs> okay, I'll take it, I guess. All right, I just had a uh, hit a part of the grass. This was like uh, around an 80 on the uh, Ace Apex. There we go. Got a non brand key here, not a a vehicle key but it's an aftermarket okay so i'm digging around i was digging around here and then i pushed it so i don't know where it is now Ooh. holy cow guys this is the stuffs the stuffs this is the stuff come on get in focus get it together this is the stuff that we find at the parks all the time not safe anyways at least i'm getting it off of the park and out of the you know making things safe for the kids whoa look at this one wow there's one for you christine all right so i was going after some iron targets just for fun and uh i just pulled this out <laughs> wow. Alright, since it's about right here. What is it though? Oh, who's that? Oh wow, this is not a ring. I mean, it is a ring, but it's like a ring to a keychain. Mm, that's cool. Not really, but <laughs> oh well. Here it is, ladies and germs. Still not in focus, huh? I'm getting my uh, first hit at this park. 19. We'll see what kind of day it's gonna be. Ah, what do we have here? Well, heck, that was a good one. Nice little ring. That could be silver. It's kind of bent. Well, we'll call it bling unless I update you. I'll check it for any hallmarks. Wow, what a way to start. Catching up. Another car. Gosh, Billy would be jealous, but he's not here. <laughs> all right first of all the um ring is stamped 925 so that was a great find i found a quarter over there and a couple uh pull tabs that's about it i was working my way over to the uh, basketball course here and i just uncovered an 18 which is a bullet and it's never been fired look it's been there a little while really guys i've been digging this big old deep hole and like billy's not here to help me I finally found it. It's a key. Such a struggle. Goodness. Goodness gracious. How annoying. Found it. Getting a nice 30 here. I'm in another town heading up uh, 99. Should be a quarter. Yep. Ooh, a bicentennial. Nice. One thing William has taught me is always check in front of the park benches. Ah, this is junk. Ah. Oh my gosh, I was hoping it was something cool. <laughs> Lame.
Okay, so when I do my, um, I was gonna say final thoughts. When I do my uh, showing all the stuff that I found, there are three pennies that are not shown. There's a, a family that came by and the little boy started following me around, wanted to know what I was doing. I guess his grandpa used to uh, metal detect before he passed away. So I showed him around, showed him what we found. And every time he found something with me, then I gave it to him. Well, it is great to be back. That was a fun trip. That last hunt was amazing. Lots of finds. Um, Roseville, Rockland up there in Sacramento area and then uh, down Highway 99. And I hit probably about six parks. The first one I found that silver ring, the rest was kind of a bust. But uh, let's get to my wrap up, then Christine's wrap up, and then we will get to final thoughts. Thanks for watching. So here is my wrap up. All of these right here were underneath a swing. Just crazy, I kept pulling them out. I'm glad to get those out, they're pretty sharp points. And then I got some miscellaneous uh, washers and a bolt there. I found a uh, padlock, the uh, vice grip, got uh, some batteries and then whatever this thing is i'm not really sure um a few zipper pulls i got a uh, dog tag and then i got uh this for pumping up balls i'm not really sure what this one is and neither same thing with that i'm not really sure what that is um got a lighter and a vape lighter top i've got a bunch of pencils that hit the school so i was finding most of the pencils that were uh, surface finds just picked them up um got a lot of keys this time so that was pretty cool. And then um, this little tag here with a number on it. I got a um, shell for a um, bullet. That's part of it. The bullet smashed the tip, I believe. I got a, a non-fired uh, round there. And then I got my pull tabs like I usually do. Threw the bottle caps away. I'm not really sure what this thing is. Probably have clothing or something. Two backings to uh, pins. This flashlight I put. The, I got to work. There's definitely um, two double A's in there now, so it definitely the ones in there were dead. The big truck is a surface find. The purple car was a surface find, and I dug up the orange one. I got a cute little bug here for you know who. Um, this button is kind of crazy. It's got a snail carrying a knife, and I don't think I've ever seen that before. My niece said it's from a TV show, so that's just wonderful. That was a surface find. That one I dug up part of a car. Uh, button here has a metal um, part to it, around it, so that's kind of cool. I don't know if it's old or not. And then um, change, let's see how we did. We got uh, 93 pennies, and in, co in total we have a little over $9 in clad and pennies combined. They're in pretty bad shape. I have not had a chance to tumble anything since I was on the road. I got a uh, little bit of bling here. I got this chain. I did not test it. I don't think I need to. It doesn't look like it's going to be real. I saw this uh, on the surface, and then when I was metal tech, I found this backing. It's a clip-on earring that uh, had come apart. I'm not really sure what this is. It could be part of a pendant. I got another Chuck E. Cheese coin. This one's a 14, so it's got the different design. It's got the guitar on the back. Um... Got this little paw, which I didn't record. And then two rainbows. And I found this rainbow and this set of wings right here um, in the same location, about a foot and a half, two feet apart. They've got the same uh, top, so they're probably uh, on the same chain or whatever it was. Um, little tiny pennant here, just garbage. This one here was really cool. When I found that, I thought it was gold when I first saw it. It's actually stamped um, 925 on the back but the stumper is this little tiny piece that was with it is actually stamped 14k which is really strange to have that together and then i got a uh, 56d weedy not too bad and then four rings this one's one of those metal cheapies not a big deal this one here is just bling but it's pretty cool definitely a nice looking ring then this one, I believe, was a um, from a spoon. You can really see where it was um, ground down and smoothed out. So it's probably silver. I will test it and update you if it is. And then this one here was my find on the road off Highway 99, and that is a stamp 925 silver. So that's pretty cool that I got silver. Anyway, there you go. That is my uh, hunt from Rockland and Highway 99. So let's get on to uh, Christine's little wrap-up.
So I am back with Christine, and we're looking at her final wrap up. My so treasures. Go ahead, go ahead and tell, show what you found. <laughs> Actually, your little dog bowl is really cute. It's not a dog it's bowl. It's for a little chihuahua, right? No, it's not. It's a pretend bowl. Wow. Okay, yeah. let's see what you got. Okay. I found some aluminum. Wow. <laughs> Some, a bunch of nails, a bunch of pieces of nail, a key, a Reese. Nice. Not Reese's piece. Oh my gosh, you could see it's a piece of a Reese. <laughs> and? Bolts, a magnet. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> and then I found two Hot Wheels cars. One's Ooh. Lightning McQueen, the nice. other one is regular. Is this uh, lightning's fuse right here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that makes them go? Exactly. And then I found a door stopper. Um, I don't know what this is. A backing to a pin. Um, some sort of costume jewelry. And then I have a little bit of what Bill calls clad. Some of these pennies are chewed up and spat out. They're pretty tore up. But Wow. Not much. I kind of struck Well, out. you know, you did really good, so... So you're, you're working full-time and doing this part-time. Yeah, it's hard. Very good. Thanks. Let's get to final thoughts. Okay. Welcome to Bill's and Christine's final thoughts. <laughs> you always get top billing? Yes. No pun intended? That's right. So I had an amazing trip. What, three or four days? It was like three and a half months. It seemed like forever, but yes. for her, I was having a great time. But... Uh, Wow, I think I ended up with 10, 10 rings on this trip. <laughs> it was an amazing time. Yeah. I had a chance to hang out, as you saw in the videos, with Robert and Roger from Folsom. I got a chance to go to the Sacramento um, Valley Detecting Buffs mm -hmm. um, hunt. It was really cool. Yeah. I was really having a good time. Yeah. It was tough coming back. And you met Gary? Yes, I actually had the chance to finally meet a Gary from Gary's Middle Detecting, and he's awesome. If you haven't checked out his channel, you gotta check it out. Um, so he and he gave me that ten stick, which I talked about in a previous video. But I love that ten stick; it was so cool. Um, <laughs> but I was really jazzed. Um, and it was out of ten rings, I got two gold, one silver, which I got on Highway ninety nine in Stockton. Did you get bronze? No. Well, maybe one of them, but I got like seven blingers. And then going up 99, or should I say down 99, because I was going from Sacramento to LA, um, I got off in a few towns and it was like, eee, I need to get back on the freeway. <laughs> I was, I got into one place, it was, a, I saw this park, I pre-planned about six parks and I cut out half of them as soon as I pulled into the third park. It was crazy. Oh my there was, a, there was homeless encampments everywhere, which There's I can- There's a cricket on my- Oh, cool. That's a cockroach. Oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a cricket. Anyway, I pulled into like the fourth park, third or fourth park, mm -hmm. and there was encampments everywhere, which I can deal with. I have no problem with homeless encampments. Yeah. But then there were some gangsters all over that park. <laughs> and I said, oh, no. I said, I'm moving on. So I decided that the I gold would... gold wasn't worth it? Yeah. I said, I'm done. But uh, I had a really good time. Good trip. Uh, wish you could have been there, especially for the hunt. That was a lot it of fun. It looked like so much fun. Yeah, it was really good. In the meantime, Christine was out here detecting. And um, as you see in the wrap-ups, um, it's not really a fair contest because I have all the time in the world to metal detect. You do. And you're working your normal job plus overtime. Yeah, I worked a lot of overtime. And then you're trying to get those hunts in between the hour and a half you left before it's dark. Yeah. So. It was hard. But you still found stuff that's cool. I like that little bowl you've got. I know. It's if we got a really tiny, tiny little dog, it'd be <laughs> A miniature chihuahua. A miniature chihuahua. You know, like the size of a hamster? Yeah. Look at it. I want to get him. Grab him. There's a cricket on my counter. <laughs> Is it a cricket? I know it. I know it's bad luck killing a cricket in the house, but I, I can't. I can't deal with her. So <laughs> that thing will start chirping, and then she'll freak out, and we gotta deal like with it. So 
Anyway. I leave the body out so that other friends know not to come over here. <laughs> yeah, what a hunt. What a week. That was crazy. That was a great, great, great trip. You found so many cool things, and I feel like I was just batting a zero. <laughs> you try, though. That's so all that matters. And then there were times that, like, it was dark, and yeah. But you were out swinging the detector, and that's what counts. Yeah. yeah. But it's so much better when I have something to show for it that... It's not garbage. You got two cars. I did. Look at this. Lightning McQueen. I'm so jelly. <laughs> can I have it? Of course you can. Wow. It's in pretty good condition, too. Dude, that, that guy can drive fast. Yeah, Lightning McQueen. He always wins. Yep. He never loses. No. Unless he wants to. Anyway, let's get back on track. So, we talked last week a little bit about... Um, some of the stuff you do when you're producing a uh, video and some of the things you can do to... Starting a YouTube channel. Yeah. There's a lot more to that, and we can definitely get into more stuff. I mean, we're talking, you know, when you do your um, your main... What's that main picture called the, on the top? Oh, the thumb? No, it's not really your thumb on the oh, video. Oh, the web banner? The web banner. The web banner has a certain size. you got to make sure you get what you want, because when you try to put the picture you want in the web banner, it's got to fit um, the web banner... For the computer, for phones, and for pads. So yeah, the dimension has to be correct so yeah. the format looks good on all of the different um, types that it'll be viewed on. Yeah, for sure. And then you got to pick your little your image you want to use for yourself, um, which we use Gary, of course. Gary rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, we're going to talk a little bit today, or I think Christina will do most of the talking now about um, how we produce our video, what we do as far as um, the videotaping. So, go for it. <laughs> Take it away. You're Take gonna, it away. You're going to let me do it? Yeah. Okay, so part of it is I do have a little bit of a background in um, formal education of um, film. So, I have taken college courses. That doesn't make me a professional by any means. How dare you? What? <laughs> I have more <laughs> understanding than you do. However, um... There's a, there's a lot of basics that people um, realize without n noticing. Um, normally when you're filming something, you'll make sure not to cut off the top of your head. So it's called headroom. So you want to make sure that you're giving yourself enough space between, um, if you're looking at the screen, that you're giving yourself enough space from the top of the screen to where your head is at. Can I interject? Sure. When we film and one of us is finding something that we think is pretty cool, <laughs> oh, yeah. we're horrible at this. So we're definitely not good at this. We try our best, but, and I've done it to her and she's done it to me where we're filming each other and then, oh my God, what is that? And all of a sudden we're, we're not even filming the person. We've, we've cut off half the face or something. And you've, it's been on our videos plenty of times. At the beginning when we first started filming, I was really good about being very conscious about it. And now I just get so excited. I. I kind of get sloppy. Oh, wow, you found really a gold pull tab? Whoa! And, yeah, you're, no. and you're totally jacking the, up the, vi the, the video. The camera work yeah. is not very good. But it is important to keep that in mind. The other thing is um, it's considered looking room. So if you're looking towards, I'm going to say it's going to be their right. Um, you want to have enough space that it's leading the way. You don't want to have it so close that the end of the frame of the picture is right here because it looks like you're looking at a wall. Oh, lost me already. <laughs> this is all basics, but you want to have enough room <clears throat> in in um, the top and in front of you. So let me interview you. So what kind of cameras do we use? <laughs> so we use the GoPro 8. Um, sometimes we use the GoPro 10. Which we're using right now. Which we're using right now. We also have the Pocket 2 yes. um, that never gets used, that was purchased as a gift with a warranty. <laughs> Don't let me die on this one. <laughs> we also have, we, I do most of the wrap-ups with the actual the iPhone because you can get, if you ever notice when people are filming with the GoPro and they're showing the, the wrap-ups, as you get close to an item, it blurs out. Mm -hmm. I The GoPros are not good for um, close-ups at all. No. So I do a lot of my wrap-ups with the iPhone because you can get a lot closer to the objects. Yes. Yeah, the iPhone is much better. Um, 
just make sure that when you're filming, you have it in what's considered landscape, which is the long way. When you watch a movie, it's going to be the long way, yeah. not the short way. Another thing that's really important, if you've dealt with a GoPro, I don't care if it's the 3, 8, 10, 9, whatever, it doesn't even matter. Their batteries don't last that long. So for the GoPro 8, I think I have five or six batteries. Mm -hmm. And for the, um, when I bought the 10, which I've only used a few times, I bought like five batteries. And the funny thing about the GoPro 10 is they said, it's 35% more battery life. Okay, but if you do the research, the GoPro battery is 35% bigger. So it's really not, it's, oh. that's how they get you. Yeah. It's really no big deal there, but uh, it's kind of funny. So the average is anyway, the exact same. <laughs> um, Christine does an amazing job with um, filming and editing, and we both have gotten, re we've really improved, I think. I agree. So yeah. If you look for some of our older videos, it was yeah. kind of funny. I think we, we tried our best in um, how we thought things should be done. So I feel like we've definitely progressed on the style that we're going for. <clears throat> a funny story. Um, when we filmed, I think it was Eaton, Eaton Canyon. Okay. Oh, so I had my Nikon Z7 camera, which is, I have a, um, a gimbal for it. The gimbal is like this big. It's just huge. It's huge. And the camera is heavy because it's a, it's a big camera. It's a, one of the, the very first mirrorless camera they have. Mm -hmm. So... Christine's trying to film me and she's using this gimbal and following me around and stuff. And, and I'm getting frustrated because it's just, it was one of those <laughs> days where I had a twisted tongue. So things weren't coming out right or I was trying to do too much. I was thinking faster or, than I could talk. Mm -hmm. And we, it just it, you don't realize how much editing is involved and how much work it takes to get a good, even ten, a good minute of footage it might take 10 minutes of actual footage we cut Absolutely. down. So... It, it was crazy. I, mean, I got really frustrated. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the other thing people don't realize is that um, the amount of digs that we go on in an average week, hours, hours, hours. I mean, he spends sometimes four or five hours every day filming while I'm at work. And then when I get off work, then we film more. So you end up spending about 30 to 40. 35 hours a week yeah. just filming and then what you guys end up seeing is a 30 minute video so and actually about 12 to 14 of actual footage that we did out there correct the yeah. rest of it's a rambling yes like right now <laughs> yeah but uh i'll tell you the amount of pennies i dig oh my gosh i found so many pennies when you were gone all i kept getting was 20s and 21s and they were like four inches deep and at a certain point i'm like i only have so much daylight i don't have time to dig pennies but every time i skip a penny i think of when i went metal detecting last summer with robert and roger and roger had a penny he goes i'm gonna skip it oh, then he decides yeah. to dig it and it was a ring and it's two rings that's in the same right. hole a gold and a silver with diamonds and it came up as a penny signal so, that's so how do you pass up any signal. I forgot about that. And I, I think I found a nice ring on a 13, which 13 has been pull tabs all day long. Um, it, you just can't skip those numbers. Yeah. I mean, every time I think I want to skip a number and it, you think, oh my God, it's going to be a, something good. The only time that I get a little concerned about digging a number or may skip it is when it starts jumping on the, I know for the mind lab for sure, the Equinox, it'll say 20, 30, 40, 50, 70, 40, 30, 20. Nine times out of 10, that is a Modelo oh. bottle cap <laughs> with the foil on top. Oh, yeah. 90% of the time. Yeah. But when they're jumpy that much, typically it's going to be a bottle cap or something like that. But it's so hard to skip those targets because mm -hmm. I found good targets on every number. Yeah. So anyway, um, anything else about filming that's important? Um, the other thing that we use is... <laughs> Something just fell down. Um, is Final Cut. We use Final Cut Pro and for editing software. Yeah, and I know it's on a Mac. I'm probably sure it's on a PC too. Yes. Um, it's a one-time purchase app, so it's like it's like 300 bucks when I bought it. Um, it does a decent job. If anybody's got suggestions of another app or program software. out there that mm -hmm. that you like, let us know. I'd appreciate it. Um, there are limited amounts of things you can do with it. I'm yes. still learning. Yeah. When I was in college, I used Avid which is for PC, um, that works just as well too. But yeah, I'm really happy with Final Cut. It's been a really good program. And I've gotten to the point now I can bang out the editing pretty quick. 
Yeah, it's much different than the Nature Zoom one. That one's a little yeah more. She's the editor of Nature Zoom <laughs> because then you got to add music and different cuts to the music, and she really uh, likes doing that. Yeah, we have to fly the drone more. I know. And that's another thing we didn't mention. Um, as you saw in the last video, um, I did on the hunt with the group hunt. I got the drone up in the air, which I almost didn't get it up because the fog rolled in just so I was getting ready to mm -hmm. launch. And it took me forever to get, you have to connect to satellites and it took a long time to get connected to the satellites. And I was worried about it, um, being able to fly the drone, but, um, I have the Mavic Air 2 drone, which I flew in that video. And I have the Mavic Pro 2 drone and I love flying the drones. So we'll try to incorporate more drone footage into some of our videos. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. I already, I already thought I should just follow her around with the drone as she's hunting, but, um, We'll maybe see. maybe if we go to the beach. Yeah. Of course, now most of the beaches along the California coast, they've all added the signs no droning. Oh, seriously? Yes. Oh. I don't know why, but they don't, you know, they don't want you out there droning. Okay. But we're definitely going to try to incorporate more drone shots. Um, like I said, we're having an absolute blast doing this. It's not always about the hunt. We're just, part of it's the filming too. We, mm -hmm. have, we have a good time. Yeah. So we really appreciate... Um, the great support, the great comments we're getting. It's absolutely amazing how many good comments we get. I agree. I could um, be having a bad day at work and <laughs> and then I go through the comments and I'm like, okay, like we do cool stuff. Like people like it. Absolutely. It makes yeah. me happy. Yeah. So make sure you keep commenting. We do appreciate it and we do answer as many as we can. Yeah. yeah. It's hard, but we do try to um, make the effort. And again, um, if you, if you feel like you're commenting to us and we're not responding, you can always email us directly. Um, Absolutely, yeah. And that kind of helps a little bit better. And don't remember, if you have any questions regarding filming or editing or posting or anything mm -hmm. like that, you can email either one of us. It's Bill or Christine, and we're at the diggingsocal.com. Yeah. Um, we, try, we try to answer everybody that, that does email us. Yeah. So, for sure. I think we're pretty good about but, it. Uh, it's not like we get millions of emails. <laughs> Yeah, not millions. <laughs> Bill's pro Bill's more popular, you know. Everybody well, wants to know what kind of hair, you know, gel he uses and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm just glad the beard's gone. That was a rough month. Oh my gosh! Thank you for watching, uh, Christine and Bill's final Bill and Christine's final thoughts. <laughs> 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 that's good though you should have top billing i should that way if there's any complaints they go to you you're at the top thank you for watching christine and bill's uh, final no, thoughts bill and christine's <laughs> any complaints make sure to email bill bill at, at christine dig <laughs> <laughs> bill at digginsocal.com no. <laughs> any compliments on anything good that we're doing email christine at digginsocal.com under the bus <laughs> B is for bus. B is for Bill. Okay. Thanks again for C watching for Digging SoCal. C is for Christine. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Are you a parrot? Are you a parrot? <laughs> Peace out. Bye.